All right, guys, first night home. They just transitioned her yesterday to oral antibiotics and got them for a week. First night home, uh, it is right now approximately 9.15 p.m. Just took her BP, it's 142 over 79, pulse was 93. The temperature was 100 on the dot, so we retook the temp, was 99.9. She's got a temperature of 100, and the BP was 142.79, pulse was 93. Okay, and our white blood cells, uh, they, have, they are still elevated, never went down, okay, but they, doctors are saying that's due to the surgery right there and the inflammation from that. Swelling, a lot of it is going down, but it's still pretty good size, and her legs are pretty warm, pretty warm. But we're going to keep working her and hope she gets, gets better and better, and as this heals up, you know, we want to make sure that the white blood cells, I do anyway, actually go down because they've never been normal. They was normal. Then she had this surgery, then they shot way on up here, way on up here. They was normal. Okay, when we did the antibiotics at home and everything, the white blood cell count before she had her surgery was normal in the green. After her surgery, they was normal. A week later, boom, they saw five days later, three days later, they saw way up there, and then they come back down, and right now they're at about 14,000, okay? They're supposed to be 11 will be a high normal, but they kind of went like this right here. They came down to about 14,000. They turned off at 14,000 like this. Then when the lady wiped her the wrong way, they jumped up like that. I noticed a little spike. You did too, right, Lynn? I showed you yep. on the chart. Yep. At any rate, guys, I just wanted you all to see I'm monitoring the vitals. If the temperature goes up too much, I'm taking her back in there. Or right, I'm going to probably take her to Texas City somewhere and tell them what the hell's going on. Yep, guys, that, we're out. <coughs>